What's happening my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog, where I take you behind the scenes, share every meal that I eat for the day, footage from my workout, as well as my overall active lifestyle. If you've been following my videos this week, the last video I posted was all about fad diets and how they often restrict foods. There's forbidden foods in those diets. So today I figured I would follow one of the most popular diets, one of what's been claimed as one of the best fad diets for the past several years, and that is is the Mediterranean diet. Um, the one thing that I like about this diet is that although they have foods that they they suggest you avoid, they, they don't say you don't have to have it. They say you should limit it or try to avoid it. So it's not like a lot of the dogmatic um, fad diets out there that are like, really like there's no way in hell you can eat any of these things. They just, they suggest that you eat them in limited quantities uh, throughout the week. So today it's gonna be a full day of eating the Mediterranean diet. Let's see how well I can stick with it. What a gorgeous freaking morning out here. Brisk, but so calm, so peaceful. I freaking love it. Chief and I just got back from our morning walk and right out of the gates this morning I was faced with the dilemma of how hardcore I want to be with this Mediterranean diet which suggests that you limit processed foods and first thing I had two cups of coffee this morning with just a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and 300 milligrams of ashwagandha. Now the almond milk is processed. It's got some additives in there. Uh, fairly natural and not tons of additives, but it's still been processed. And right now I'm about to have my breakfast shake, which has one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk in here, along with some homemade kefir, one scoop of whey protein powder, one tablespoon of maca, an ass load of spinach, and a banana. So the whey protein powder that is also processed. But once again, it's been shown to have some great health benefits, even cancer fighting benefits as well. And it helps keep my protein intake up. I enjoy the flavor in my shake. I'd say one of the biggest reasons the Mediterranean diet is one of the best fad diets out there is because of the health benefits associated with it. There's some great heart health benefits to it, uh, just overall health in general, and some great weight loss benefits as well. Some would say it's a largely plant-based diet, which I can see to an extent, but I'd say it's more or less a natural whole food kind of diet. Um, just trying to get your as much food as possible from natural whole food sources. Uh, there are lean proteins in there. You can have some chicken, fish. Um, they do say you should limit your red meat, but they don't say completely avoid red meat. Just have it in, in have it sparingly, I guess you could say. So I wouldn't necessarily consider this a, a plant-based diet. They were just really really recommend, they suggest that you avoid processed foods as best you can, which is, I think that's a great rule of thumb. Anyways, my diet is typically 90% whole natural foods. 10% uh, of it would come from the, the processed foods. So I'd say I'm pretty darn close to eating a Mediterranean diet lifestyle for the most part um, in general. On to meal number two, and again, this is the typical second meal of the day for me. I've got four large brown free range eggs here, some mixed veggies, two third cup oats, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries, sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top. And this is, my second meal is also Mediterranean diet compliant. The only thing is with the eggs, they do say that you should only have them occasionally. I have four large eggs every single day. So I think that kind of exceeds, uh, like my overall diet plan probably exceeds the recommendation with uh, the Mediterranean diet would, um, would comply with. The one thing I absolutely love about the Mediterranean diet is basically they say eat limitless amounts of non-starchy veggies. Uh, if they're gonna have a recommendation, they think they said about seven to 10 uh, servings of veggies each and every day. That's probably my favorite meal of the day because it's so satisfying, it's so filling, really provides me with the fuel and energy to get through my day, performing my best, feeling my best. And basically by the time this meal digests, it's gonna be about my workout time. So even though I'm gonna have a pre-workout meal, a meal that's closer to my training session, this is gonna be the meal, meal that's going to provide the fuel for a great training session. So I really like having the, the great proteins in there, the great carbohydrate source, the fast acting with the fruit, as well as the slow acting with the oats, um, and the slow acting with the, the veggies as well. It really had me thinking, because this meal is so satisfying, so filling, a lot of it has to do with the amount of veggies I have in there. Really had me thinking about how a lot of the fad diets 
really, they suggest that you can have a limitless amount of veggies. The benefit of that is that the more veggies you eat, the harder it is for you to overeat throughout the day. And it's a big reason why I like to eat my veggies first in the meal. So I polished off those mixed veggies before I went on to the eggs and then finished off with oats. Uh, just because if I eat those veggies first, I tend to, I'm less likely to overeat in that meal. I mean, I already, I made my portion size, but if I was having a dinner with my family and there's a whole bunch of food, there was gonna be leftovers for the next day, I'd be less likely to go for the leftovers if I eat those veggies first, um, because it tends to, I tend to feel fuller sooner um, and less likely to go grab some food afterwards. So that's a huge benefit to having loads of veggies in your diet. On to meal number three, again, this is the third typical meal that I eat each and every day and once again it's mediterranean diet compliant i've got 260 grams of plain greek yogurt here 140 grams of frozen mixed berries i'll go with a different berry mix this time just to get some variety in there different uh micronutrients uh i've got two tablespoons of almond butter in there natural raw almond butter so i'm gonna enjoy this right now this is my pre-workout meal gonna be hitting the gym in about 90 minutes i forgot to mention that i am also snacking on a large red pepper here so Veggies with each and every meal. Again, great for our male hormone health. Heading to the gym in a few minutes, but before I go, I'm gonna have four ounces of 100% pomegranate juice. No additives in here at all. Now, the Mediterranean diet says we should limit or avoid fruit juices, but I'm not so sure if it's the same thing, if it comes from 100% uh, fruit juice here. Uh, pomegranate juice is fantastic for us men over 40, great for blood flow, which is why I like to take it before a workout. Uh, it can be helpful for libido as well. So uh, even if it is not allowed on the Mediterranean diet, I'm going to continue taking it because there are great health benefits to it. Lots of micronutrients in there, antioxidants in there, um, and just like I said, great for men's health over 40. Just got to the gym, about to blast chest with a bit of back. Looking forward to getting this pump on. I've got those oats flowing through my veins as well as those eggs and berries. Let's get to it. Absolutely freaking incredible chest and back workout. My focus was off the charts. Uh, felt great. I mean, I was hoping to have a workout partner here today, but uh, on my own, I just stayed in the zone. Had a fellow bro uh, hold the camera for me, record that uh, bench press video there. We're 95 pounds for eight repetitions. It was a challenging eight reps. It felt a little bit harder than it did last week. I'm gonna blame it all on the Mediterranean diet. Maybe a lack of cheesecake in me this week, but uh, all 
in all, it felt just freaking awesome. I am loving my workouts right now in the zone, and I was just a solid pump, really happy with my level of leanness. I am up about five pounds um, this year, so I did a 3D body scan back at the beginning of March. Uh, February was a maintenance month, so I did a four-week mini cut in January. So held my weight throughout February, had that um, uh, 3D body scan in March. March I maintained as well, so two months of maintenance, and then been a slow and steady building phase since then. So up five pounds, planning on gaining about another pound this month, hold it for two months during November and December, and then enter into a four week mini cut in the month of January. Just been sitting in the backyard here waiting for my smoked salmon to finish up for dinner time here and caught the bald eagle. He was just up in the tree behind me here. He swooped down into the lake, caught a fish, and then swerved around there being chased by another bird out there. Just absolutely amazing. He has been visiting me quite frequently. I mean, several times throughout the day. Just absolutely gorgeous to see this magnificent, majestic bird in action. Uh, they did, they were trying to build a nest here in the, the winter time, uh, weren't successful. I think early, early spring there, uh, the hawks were kind of chasing them out there, but it looks like they're trying to build a nest again in my neighbor's tree over here. So it's gonna be really interesting to see uh, if they do decide to hang out here. But this guy is, or girl, <laughs> has been around here every single day, multiple times a day. This is one of his favorite fishing spots, I think. In part, it's because we got the beach right along next to me. These guys don't have a break wall there. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely awesome seeing them in action. <laughs> we, got, we got my furry homie chief rolling around here. <laughs> Gotta love it, just chilling here, just waiting for that salmon to finish, and I can't wait. Dinner is already looking like it's gonna be incredibly delicious. I'm about to dive into this dinner and post-workout meal, and this is looking absolutely freaking delicious. 100% Mediterranean diet compliant. We've got an ass load of Brussels sprouts here, 15 ounces of sweet potato. What I did was coat the, the casserole dish with a little bit of olive oil, and then I coated the sweet potatoes with a bit more olive oil, sprinkled in some kosher salt on top. That combination is just absolutely freaking phenomenal. Baked it in the oven at uh, 400 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes. And two fillets of salmon that I cooked on the smoker for about two and a half hours, uh, just at the smoke setting until it reached an internal temperature of 135 degrees. One of my favorite meals. Now they do recommend having salmon twice a week. You could have limitless veggies, like I said, and sweet potatoes is a carbohydrate source that they recommend you can have every single day. You can have that often. So 100% compliant here. This is again, how I eat every single week. I have smoked salmon twice a week, every single week. I love it. My furry homie chief loves it. He's sitting down here waiting for a bite right now. Uh, and yeah, just absolutely freaking fantastic. I'm going to dive into to this. Get back to you soon. Chief and I got out for a beautiful evening walk. It is gorgeous out there, really soaking up this autumn weather. And uh, yeah, just winding down for the night right now. Done eating for the day. So that puts me at damn close to 3,000 calories. Of course, all this calorie tracking, it's just an estimate, our best estimate that we can have to give us a good idea of how much we're consuming each and every day. Of course, there is room for errors in this, but um, yeah, based on my fitness pal here, I am looking at just under 3,000 calories for the day, which is what I aim for each and every day, whether I'm having cheap meals, cheap days, I always try to keep it within 3,000 calories. So um, it's a big reason why I'm able to stay shredded after 40. Uh, I know a lot of people just see the cheap meals and they think, how the heck can this guy eat like this? It's because I hit my caloric target for the day. It's just when I'm having cheap meals and cheap days, uh, those meals are more calorie dense, so actually I'm not as full at the end of a, a cheap day like that where I hit my caloric target compared to a day like this where the food volume is absolutely outrageous with all those veggies um, and all of my, I'm making sure that I'm getting all those micronutrients in my diet, hit my macronutrients, speaking of macronutrients, I'm looking at 279 grams of carbs, 130 grams of fat, 171 grams of protein. Whenever I have salmon and sweet potatoes together like this, uh, my fat content is always higher because I, um, I think I forgot to mention that I coat the 
aluminum foil when I'm smoking the salmon with a little bit of olive oil. How much of that olive oil the salmon actually soaks up, uh, it, it's tough to say. So I put, um, I think I put two teaspoons for, for that, but chances are it didn't actually use that all up. So um, once again, it's probably just an estimate with the calorie target. And same thing with the sweet potatoes. I used about a, a tablespoon for the, the coating on the bottom and the tablespoon on top. But again, there was a lot of residue left on the casserole dish after I was done baking. So even though I used all that, how much of it actually gets absorbed into the food and how much do I actually absorb in my body? It's it's tough to tell. And then salmon is fatty in and of itself. So usually when I have a meal like that, my, my fat content is higher. Typically, I aim for 40% carbs and 30% fat, 30% protein, somewhere in that. There's oftentimes it's a little bit higher carbs and like between 25 and 30% uh, fats and proteins. But today the protein was a little bit lower around 23%. Fats was I think up around 39 and, and carbs was down around 38 ish or something like that. So um, a little bit off with the, the macros, but hit the caloric target and that's what matters most. Really enjoyed this day of eating. I hope you enjoyed following along with this Mediterranean diet. It can definitely get you shredded after 40. And like I said, it's not it's compared to all the other diets where like there's no dogmatic approach with this. You can have treats even though it says you should limit the treats desserts and all that stuff you are allowed to have it it's just in moderation that's life that's the way it should be that's what this jacked after 40 life is all about looking our best feeling our best performing our best just living life to the fullest being able to enjoy our treats when we're out with friends family just having a good time and just not feeling deprived in any way sense or form if you're like having cheat days all the time you're depriving yourself of the micronutrients and the good quality food that's going to allow you to feel your best so um, yeah, I have enjoyed this and right now let's get a little view of our, our tuckered out GP dog. <laughs> it's, it's our bedtime pretty soon. We are winding things down. So thank you for sharing this day with me. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching this video, do my favor and share it with them. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback and your experiences with me. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video.